else wants to use the microphone to say anything? Please help yourself at the podium and just turn it on and say whatever you like. Hi, I've got a short memory of uh, John 1964. 65 Mount Duck School, now Cedar Hill Middle School. Grade 11, John was in grade 12. John was an intellectual. He studied English literature, Dylan Thomas, abstract art. His parents' house was full of the Limner's art. And uh, Chica Maris, music of uh, Dylan, Rolling Stones, Muddy Waters was in the air. And John was in the band Blues by Five with David, Norm McPherson, Ron Flatman, and the mighty Ed Wright. The times were changing, and the students were protesting. There was dissidence in the air. John was acute and aware, anti-establishment. He had a wry look and an infectious laugh that sometimes echoed in the hallways. John was stylish, a trendsetter, with an elegant presence, with his leather tie, pea jackets, leather boots, black frame glasses. He was cool and hip. I remember going to happenings in the blues bands at the White Eagle Hall, being part of the synergy created by the Blues by Five as Sheriff, Derek Walsh with his harmonica, and Harry and the Nat. Their songs were the blues of sex, love, pain, and grief. John would give me a huge smile and an inclusiveness and a wink of solidarity as I drank Prince of Denmark and smoked an Alcapoco Gold. The crowds were dancing on the floor. John was a mentor in the 60s for many of us as we experienced the blues of discontent. When seeing John over the year, we hugged with a sincerity of feeling and his generosity of spirit embraced me. John had a wonderful career helping other people. He was very dedicated to the underdog and he could really feel the emotion and uplift one. I'd just like to give my heart thoughts to Sharon Wadsworth who was the honeybee of his life, and to his children, some of the musicians, you know, here today. So, John is in our hearts. Lots of love. Anybody else want to say a few words? Oh, here comes somebody. Let's turn the mic on, thank you. Hi, my name is Donna. Um, I remember John, the blues I thought. They used to practice in my parents' basement. In 19, I don't know, 67? So this is where I first met John. And uh, fell in love with him because he was such a kind, kind, loving person. The next time I ran into John was at Glendale Hospital, and that's where I first met Sharon. Do you remember that, Sharon? Yes. And what a wonderful couple you were right away. Like, I, knew, I knew right away. And I just want to say, for me, John was an incredible person, an incredible musician, and that's it. Anybody else? Probably, maybe some more in, uh, in another break, you know? Maybe some. Last call for this time if anyone has any words. We may ask again as we have time. Is that you, Rob? Did you want to say something? Okay. Rob Edwards? Turn the mic on.
what a wonderful, hang on, I'll adjust myself. Everyone here knows the accomplishment, John, Sharon, in the music community here. But today, with the sunshine and the wonderful warm weather, I know John and Sharon with their Volkswagen van, going camping with the kids and the grandchildren. This is such an appropriate day with all their friends, our friends, and I'm gonna keep it short because I'm really emotionally uh, affected, as we all are. So thank you so much for Sharon and family for doing this. Hip hip for John. Hip hip. hip. Again, I've uh, known John since, what, 65, something like that, 64 possibly? Picking him up in high school because I was a couple years older, driving him to practices with Blues 5.5, five, but it wasn't even Blues 5.5 five, five then, it was kind of a junk van in the Norm McPherson's parents' house. Uh, all these years, such a wonderful man, just like, you know, we, we lost touch, then we gained touch, then we lost touch, then we gained touch, but whenever I saw that smile, whenever I heard him play, and I saw him progress from, well, from acoustic guitar to bass to, hey, John, we really miss you. Bye. Thank you, Bill. special people they are, have been to our clients as well. Um, and so besides uh, John's passion for music, he's, him and Jerry's passion was also for the special needs people that we support every day. And they were both amazing, amazing bosses. Amazing with our people we support and we love them both. I am Belinda, who also worked for Crossroads. And when I first saw John, I thought, that's what Jesus could look like. <laughs> Not really, because uh, of his long hair and, and just his warm expression. And he was such a gentleman and so kind. And if I wanted a day off, I said, John, if you don't, can't make it, then don't worry, he said, Helene, I will make it work. <laughs> like he always tried to be fair and help us out and, and he was just a beautiful man and, and I didn't know that he was such a great musician. Awesome. Thank you, John, for all the good years with you. We love you. We've got time for one more, if we want one more person wants to come up at this time. Is this on? Hi. I'm Russ Godfrey. I played in uh, Harry the Nat with the John back in 74. Uh, and it kind of blew me away that I got a chance to do that back then because I'd been such a groupie of the Blues by Five. And then I ended up in a band with a guy that kind of was my idol. Now John and I would do things off and on throughout the years and stuff and then uh, about seven, eight years ago I started a band called Rusty and the Roosters and we had a disappearing bass player problem. They just seemed to not work out, they weren't there. And out of desperation I phoned John one day because I just figured, I know he doesn't play bass anymore but he, he just might and by God when I asked him if he be the bass player for the Roosters, he said, yes, and, and that was it. I never had a more solid friend 
uh, a guy who provided me a whole lot of guidance and always managed to calm me down when I got pissed off. And all I want to say before I go is this is important. It's like that old Joni Mitchell song, Sharon. You, uh, you don't know what you got till it's gone. And when we lost John, that hit me so hard. So, if you have musical friends and colleagues in this crowd, you give them a hug. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Just want to remind everybody, there is a guest book on the table in the center here. Please sign the guest book as a memory for the family that they can keep and you can um, say some kind words about your relationship with John and something that Sharon will treasure forever, I'm sure. We're going to start now having some musical tributes. <laughs>